Hello, welcome to another E3D Getting Started lesson. We are going to talk about the In Canvas Editor. We also drop some hints on how to use the user interface, especially the shortcut keys. If you find that the 3D view is being blocked by the Explorer, for example, you can clear the Explorer quickly by using the F2 key. Next, we are going to look at the drag selection. If you drag from the bottom left to the top right, you are using the crossing and anything that cross in that window will be selected. If you do from the top left to the bottom right, you have to enclose the equipment or the items totally inside the box to select them. And you can remove them from the view by using the backspace. Next, we'll look at the In Canvas Editor. Let's call the Explorer quickly by using the F2 key. Let's create an equipment. This equipment positioning is using the PDMS EDG method. When you select a box primitive, the in-canvas editor will be shown. You can use the tab down arrow keys or the shift ampersand to control the settings in this in-canvas editor. The coordinates you see are relative to the center of the equipment. You can change it to attribute by using shift ampersand. There you have the much bigger coordinate, the absolute coordinate of the position. Let's move it to absolute and we can key in the values by using the tab and keying in the numbers to the east, north and up. Using the down arrow keys, you can change between the options of defining the box. Two points, four points or explicit. We are now using the three point method which is three point to define the base of the box and the height of the box. So let's define the base of the box as minus 1000 east and minus 1000 north and 1000 east and 1000 north to define a x length and y length of 2000 mm. Next we define the height and it can be below what we define or above what we define. So we are creating a 2 meters cube. Next, let's create a cylinder above the cube. You can see that when we hover over the box, you can see P points being highlighted and other coordinates being highlighted. And sometimes you find that you can't tap by using the right mouse key, you can get focus back to the canvas again. Next, I want to show you the snap settings in the snap settings you can decide what you want to snap to by choosing things that you can select on the elements or the graphics or the p lines Let me just switch to E3D 2.1. You can see that this object snap setting dialog is a bit different between E3D 2.1 and 3.1, but they represent the same information. Back to our E3D 3.1, let's create the cylinder and let's snap to the 
top of the box. We can choose to define the diameter or the radius and if we move the cursor outside the box, you can select any points or key in a value. At the same time, you can snap to any points on the box itself. Let's select the diameter of 2 meters and a height of 1 meter. Thank you for following our lesson. See you again soon. Bye.